Ladies and gentlemen, whether you are in a beautiful morning or a fabulous evening while you are watching this video, I hope you have a great day. The world changed in our era, the 21st century. Engineering started facing several challenges related to energy, natural resources and healthcare. In our project, we aim to solve issues and challenges that are related to health informatics or managing a pandemic. It is extremely challenging in itself to prepare against a pandemic in this era because we have around 7.8 billion individuals around the world. Yet, collecting data and information related to health is very daring. Our project is a system able to collect effective information of people using a closed area which leads to prevent the spread of diseases through monitoring the crowd. And yes, we believe our device can and will contribute to this situation. We call our device an SCM, which stands for a Smart Crowd Monitor. It was implemented by Bilal Ghulam, Ana Shukri, Bilal Bourdi, and Ayub Ramas. We will tackle our device through the following table of content. First, project management, requirement, functional analysis, specifications, concept of development, concept evaluation, embodiment, and finally, the final mock-up. Let's get started with the project management, which is a process that the four members took as a team in order to achieve their goals and meet success criteria at a specified time. We will start with a small description of our device structure. We do have a specific components that takes the ID tag, reference as an input and process it via a microcontroller and send the ID to a database. The fact that the individual has a valid ID and free spot inside the closed area allows the gate to open for them. Furthermore, data of the user's ID will be sent and saved in the database, and an update screen will show how many individuals are inside that closed area. Here comes the breakdown analysis of the device, which describes the main steps the team has taken in order to achieve their goals. It includes seven main activities with their full description, duration, people in charge in achieving it, and resources used. For example, concerning activity number seven, which is aesthetic development and comprehensive video of the device that was taken by the four members and planned to be done in seven days. During this step, we packaged the device and prepared the video that will be uploaded on YouTube. Next, we have the CPM PERT or the program evalu evaluation and review technique. It's related to WBS chart, which is a technique used to analyze, review, evaluate tasks involved in the project in a certain time. In this project, we do have the activities interconnected and some of them requires the previous one to be done in which we can define the critical path. From the screen, we can conclude that there are two floats. The first one has a duration of 62 days and the second one has a duration of 71 days. So the critical path will be normally have a duration of 62 days. Next, the timeline that is used is a project management tool to illustrate how the project will run in terms of planning and scheduling. Indeed, this tool is Gantt chart. As you can see from the screen, all the activities have been assigned a start date as well as an end date in which specific durations must be respected. For example, the time taken to purchase the component must not exceed 30 days. Speaking of components, we will tackle their cost through the cost analysis. So basically, we have chosen specific components that are available in the Moroccan markets with good prices. Thus, the team has chosen Arduino Uno as a microcontroller of the device, RFID reader as a tag reader, a database where the data will be stored and saved, and finally, additional components as breadboard and cables. In addition to manufacturing fees of 960 dirhams, there is also a fixed cost of 500 dirhams, which makes the team choose price per unit as 700 dirhams. This is a reasonable price compared to other products that perform the same or similar task in the markets. And through the break-even analysis of this device, we can see the minimum sales level represented by break-even point sufficient to cover all the costs, fixed and variable ones. Second main point in the video is requirement. We all know that requirements are conditions and features stated by the client that must be included in the project in order to ensure its success. For that, the team has prepared two main parts, which are prioritized requirement and simple analysis. 
The prioritized requirements are basically the needs of the client sorted from the one with the most important rate to the one with less important rate. Also, there are two types of requirements, demand and wishes. In this project, we can see that the need limits the user of a closed area and save IDs and use time considered as demand with importance 10 out of 10. Also, we can see use of low voltage as a wish with importance 4 out of 10. The next part is the steeple analysis, which is a strategic management method used to examine the external factors affecting the growth of the device. These external factors vary. It includes societal, technical, ethical, environmental, political, legal, and economics uh, analysis. So the societal includes solving 21st century challenges like the health informatics, protecting general public health, the technical includes the whole device relies on IT technologies, while the legal includes that our product does not use illegal components, etc. The third bullet point that we will tackle in this video is functional analysis. One of its main components is the black box, which represents two main parts, the function roles and the IOs. In the project, we can see the function role is monitor and keep record of visitors in a closed areas. As input, we need ID tag with user information, external source of energy, and the configuration that includes the code and implementation. As output, we get a protected community from the pandemics and non-crowded areas. We will now deal with specifications and more precisely with the house of quality which is defined as a product planning matrix that is built to show how customer requirements relate directly to the ways and methods companies can use to achieve those requirements. The house of quality for the smart crowd monitoring displayed in front of us is also considered the primary tool used during quality function deployment to help facilitate group decision making where we establish and identify the customer's needs and requirements, such as the high storage memory, time efficiency, etc. In accordance with that, functional requirements among we have the maintenance cost, the materials used, and the components that could be connected. Now, we have prepared our device, but we need to improve it. For that reason, we will tackle the morphological chart and solution space 3 in order to find the optimal solution later on. Starting with morphological chart, which represent the functions of the device and the mechanism which can be used to perform these functions. For instance, for processing the data, we have the choice to choose between Arduino Uno, Raspberry Pi, Arduino Yun, or the human interference. After, we will use all of these mechanisms, connect them together, and present the possible solution that are represented in the solution space tree. Before anything else, we try to generate five design concepts in which the data correspond to using a database screen entry, Arduino Uno, RFID reader, direct current, and C or C++ programming language. There exists a lot of methods on which we can perform a concept evaluation. Among, we find our decision matrix. It enables us to evaluate and prioritize a list of options, and so basically it's used as a decision-making tool. Our team had first established a list of weighted criteria, such as 0.2 for collecting data, 0.12 for easy management, and then we evaluated each option against those criteria. The matrix is especially useful in assessing each factor's relative importance. At the end, we determine that concept design 1, that have the highest sum, is the best option. Another important part, which is embodiment within the ADP, is also tackled by the team in order to have a functioning, beautiful and comfortable physical mock-up. In this part, we use all the previous parts such as specifications, requirements and solution concepts. For example, in order to respond to the requirement, save ID, we need to have a good storage memory and time efficiency in uploading or loading the data. So the best solution to use the Arduino Uno database. The same thing happened for other requirements. At the end, we gather all the data and implement the following device. And always, please always remember that you have the privilege to pause the video. So this is a 3D model that was done by the whole team here and there. And here is a live uh, version, a real life version. And the following pictures represent what is inside the box. As you can see, the Arduino, uh, breadboard, RFID, etc. I'm sure you are, all, you are all excited to see the video of our project. Get started. Here is our device that will be connected with the room's gate. So here is the first person who will slide his tag. As you can see in the screen, access has been granted, so the door will be open, and the ID of the guy will be saved in the microcontroller database, and one person will be shown in the screen. Here is the second person who will come and slide his card too. 
access granted. And it will show that the room is full because we have programmed that our device will accept only two people as a maximum number inside the room. The red light is on. It shows the room is full. Here is a third person who wants to go in. It will show the screen room is full, so he cannot access the room. The gate will not open for him. Now, the first person will leave the, will leave the room. It shows bye, see you. The same will happen for the second person. Bye, see you. And thank you for your attention and for watching our video.